Hello there! Welcome to our Fall Choral Concert. Uh, my name is Nicole Kuglich and I, along with Brian Lonergan, are the directors of our high school choral program here at Mohammed Seymour. It's so delightful to be back and to be even more normal than we were last year. I was reflecting on the masked photograph that we took last year, and although some people are masked still, um, we are so happy to be able to see and hear our singers' voices a little better this year here at, at school. Uh, our program tonight is a wide array of diverse and interesting songs, at least I hope you find them to be that. Um, and without any further ado, we're going to start with our concert choir. They are an SATV soprano, alto, tenor, bass ensemble of all grade levels. And they are actually spread across two hours this year, so they meet separately, but we sing together. They have prepared two pieces for you. The first one is three contemporary Latin settings. We always like our students to sing in Latin because of the purity of the vowel. Um, those songs are done in three movements, so if you would be so kind as to hold your applause until the very end of the third movement of this opening piece. Thank you very much.
Our next song is The Cuckoo, which is an American folk song, and I think it's my favorite. How about you guys? Yeah! yeah. Seems 
is uh, a piece called What Happens When a Woman. It's a cappella, and it features Lily Daniels on a move. And sadly, the third of the trio is ill tonight, so you're only hearing two of those three singers, but the show wants to roll on. So this is What Happens When a Woman. Let's go, Lily! <laughs>
groups of singers would travel the countryside singing a type of song to be known as the magical. Oh yes, I've heard of the magical, though sometimes about silly subjects such as animals or food, it is most often concerned with a subject that hasn't changed since the dawn of time. Love. <sighs> For once thou art correct about the magical, and the next song to be sung is no exception. In fact, songs about love from afar and unrequited love.
P.Q. Bach, the last and least of the 20-odd children of Johann Sebastian Bach, wrote this next secular carol, discovered by Peter, Professor Peter Shickley in the mid-1970s. Despite our better judgment, we offer you Good King Kong Looked Out. At least P.Q. Bach had enough courtesy to keep it short. King Kong looked out on his feet and he saw that they were large. Oh, oh, he said, we go, he said, to make some tracks in the snow, for soon our feet are very large. Switch,
next song is the second lullaby. It's called The Seal Lullaby, and it was written by Eric Whitaker in 2004. Um, the text is by Rudyard Kipling, and may be familiar to many of you. I find this to be a beautiful, beautiful setting of this text. He wrote it for an animated film that actually never got produced because they decided to do, I believe it was Kung Fu Panda yeah, yes, instead. Um, but this song was meant for a, a different animated feature that was scrapped by the production studio. It's dedicated to musical theater composer Stephen Schwartz, which of course speaks to my musical theater heart. Uh, Stephen Schwartz wrote Wicked, if, if you know that show. Um, so this is the beautiful Eric Ritter Seal of the Life, featuring none other than our own Elizabeth Hansen on camera. Coming up next Friday, November 11th, we will be hosting 
a, an assembly that day, but it's a little different than what it's appeared in the past. But we always perform a tribute to the armed services in honor of our veterans. And preemptively, we would like to honor you here tonight. If there are any veterans here this evening, please stand as your service song is sung so that we can acknowledge your service to our country. Thank you so very much. This is a tribute to the armed services.
Chamber Choir's last song this evening defies description. It's a song called Water Fountain, and it was written by a band named Tune Yards that I adored um, when they were very popular. Not, they weren't ever very popular, but I knew this band pretty well back in the day. Um, this song, I think, was written around 2010. It features a number of instrumentalists and, and clapping going on, and they're being set up here. We've got Max Bartlett and Gage Williams, Eden Sandworth, Eli Beal, Poppy Smith, and Daniel Trapper Conte. Conte, Conte, how about it? Conte, Conte, all right, making sure I say that last name right. Um, I don't often say the last names out loud sometimes, and thank you for joining us. Daniel is a band student and not a choir anymore, but maybe you'll come back one day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Water Fountain, and uh, it is a treat, so we shall work out.
Uh, Mass choir, I need you on the risers, so let's do this. Uh, this is uh, our Mass choir, and this is our final song for the evening. Before I let you go tonight, I have to give a quick shout out to all of our singers who made ILMEA District Festival choirs. We have the Vocal Jazz Festival coming up this weekend, and this has been an ongoing tradition. Uh, only for about three years in a row. Uh, it started with Lee and Ikeza, went on to Lily Tiro making it last year, and now we have two singers, Liz Hansen and John Griebel the fourth made it this year. So congrats to those singers. <laughs> I'll be traveling to that festival this weekend on Saturday to participate in that performance. Of course, we have the District Festival Chorus, and we are honored to have a number of students that are going to be a part of that experience. They are, hold your applause please, Levi Avery, Max Bartlett, Elijah Beal, Belle Defonis, John Griegel, Elizabeth Hansen, Anna Hensley, Annie Rose, Julia Schultz, Ella Scott, Will Slazak, and Lai Wei. A big round of applause for those students. singer that placed first in their, their voice part as they auditioned for this group. This year we had two singers. There are only eight in our district that are this honored, and they are Levi Avery on tenor two and Elizabeth Hansen on soprano. <laughs> Without any further ado, this is Swinging with the Saints.
out to Liam Snipes. Happy birthday! 